six hours. ETA, 20 seconds. I've got it, sir. It's approximately 225 kilometers from base six, moving at approximately 210 kilometers per hour. Good. Target is in your range, base six. In 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire! Fire! You know how to use this? Yes. Go. Please hurry. We don't have much time. United Nations Charter. We're flying emergency relief supplies to the Dang. These are your people, for God's sakes! I am the people. There are no weapons, sir. Only food and medicine. Destroy what we can take. But, sir. It's not an arms shipment. What are you saying, Lieutenant? We are making too many mistakes. You are the mistake. Bury him. Take some of those goods, Jack. You got it, Counselor. Enough of that crap, you might just turn into a prisoner. She probably like that, huh, Tom? Take a nap, Brophy. Yeah. Them wet back motherfuckers finna plan something, man. It's like this. If they throw down. They gotta know they're gonna get paid. That's what I'm talking about. Counselor Tolliver, please come to the front office. That's right, take your sorry ass to the warden's office. <laughs> your bitch ass in trouble. <laughs> Major. Well, you're out of uniform, General. Howard, I'd like you to meet Jameson Prescott, CEO and owner of Prescott International, founder of the biotech industries. Look, Tolliver, let me cut to the chase. For the past two years, my daughter's been doing relief work for the United Nations. Oh, how nice for her. What's that got to do with me? Yesterday, 
plant she was on went down, just shy of the border, in Vietnam. Military intelligence has located the plane and the rest of the bodies, except for Gabrielle's. The plane was shot down by National Liberation Front, a guerrilla group. The leader's name is... Um... Vin Mock. Right. I read the papers. So what do you want from me? I want my daughter back, Tolliver. And I'm prepared to pay whatever it takes to get her back. That is, if you think you can do it. No. I don't think I can. fighting here now. I've seen more kids killed in the streets than I saw in Vietnam. Gangs, drugs, riots. You just call out the National Guard and forget about it. You took one of the raza, the raza took one of yours. Hey, Kare, now you can join this fina. Now some of the rich girl's in trouble, and look who's here. Five-star general and her billionaire father. <laughs> Beats the hell out of this pit. Shit. Yeah, you, Don't you think you've done enough? Maybe you're the one who hasn't done enough, sir. Say that again. What the brother's trying to say is you're just riding the system, recycling us until we end up dead. So what's up? If I do this, I want to take some of the kids with me. Oh, wait a minute, Tolliver. I, I don't know about putting kids in danger. You want your daughter back? Yeah, I want my daughter back. Okay. I want a full, unconditional presidential pardon for anyone who survives the mission. Uh, we'll think of something. One more thing. And it's not negotiable, so don't even try. Name it. I want a $10 million donation to California Youth Services. Scholarships, libraries, gyms, you name it. Okay. Smile, Prescott. It's tax deductible. Mr. Brophy? 
Two counts of first degree murder. One Korean, one Chicano. When no blacks, Brophy, I'm working on it. It's got a very Christian attitude. Screw them, too. <laughs> What's so damn funny? You, guard. What, that's it? Am I going with you? Am I going with you? Mr. Lopez, you wouldn't have to know anything about Jenkins being brutally murdered this morning, now, would you? Yeah, I know something about that. Though nothing happened down here that I don't know about. But I ain't come down here to talk about no goddamn Jenkins. You look at me when I'm talking to you. I do what I got to do to protect what's mine, I say. I don't have much in this world, but the one thing I do have, ain't no man ever gonna take from me. Oh, yeah, what's that? Pride. Pride. Respect that I die for. Yeah, that I kill for. <sighs> it's like this. If you got a problem, I'll help you solve it. I don't want shit, and I ain't asking for shit. You think you're such hot shit, don't you, boy? Selling drugs, gang banging. Well, let me tell you something. You're nothing but a disgrace. I'm a parasite. So don't tell me what you're gonna do for me. Because all you know how to do is take. What else is there, huh? What else do I got to give? What else do I got to give except my life? Whatever I take is what I guess you understand? What's your problem? You don't think I'm as tough as those putas just try me. We're talking about a combat situation. Yeah, well, I'm not a moron, Holmes. Both my parents were killed, dead when I was five. And since then, I just got handed around from pervert to pervert. Till one day, I decided I wasn't gonna take it no more. The next one who touched me, I took an ax and I just started swinging. And when I finished, there wasn't much left of him. Michael Greer, a.k.a. Monster. Says here you killed two men with your bare hands, raped and killed a girl all before you turned 15. Sounds like I ought to do the world a favor and just kill you myself. Why should I give you a second chance? Chinese restaurant I worked at. One of the uh, old cooks taught me. Don't let the Boy Scout act fool you, sir. Seems mommy and daddy weren't giving this jerk enough allowance. So he killed them. And they're sleeping. That is a lie. I slit their throats. Yo, that's bullshit. All I want is a chance, man. Get this guy to solve no, it. Come on. Hold it. Have his release papers ready with the rest of them. And don't screw up. Hey, thanks, man. Mr. Tolliver, I'm not gonna let you down, man. I'm not gonna let you down.
From now on, my name is Major Howard Tulliver. Now, before we go, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. There's every possibility that some of you will not return from this mission. If any of you have any doubts about participating in this operation, you can back out right now and return to prison, no questions asked. All right, gentlemen. Lady, move out. Let's get it on. I just want you to know, this shit ain't over between us just because we're here. You threatening me, my yate? No, nah, nigga, it's a promise. I can't believe I'm putting my ass on the line with you boys in the hood, assholes. I'm hoping the niggers and the wetbacks just kill each other. Best damn thing that could happen. You guys are all a bunch of losers, you ask me. Nigga, did nobody ask you shit? in the movies. Yeah, where's the 60s music, dude? Hey, Holmes, when are you taking these damn chains off? Ah, trucha ese? Say, baby, why don't you do me a favor while you're down there? Hey, why don't you wait until I get my knife and do the world a favor? All right. Everybody hand you the Huey. Let's move it. Chopper? Didn't nobody tell us about no damn chopper? I think 
I need to make something clear. A mean old world. You want to fight? That's a fact. You start by kicking my ass. Keep on moving. You better not look back. We got it in for each other. You grab your gear. And everybody's brother. Major. All right, listen up. This is our destination. Plane went down near the Red River. Vinmok's camp is up in these hills just over the border. Now, as you can see, we got a lot of jungle to cross to get to Vinmok's. And we'll be hiking it inch by inch, foot by foot. Whoa, we ain't got a tank? No, we ain't got a tank. Then I steal one. How do we even know the bitch is there? She ain't a bitch, you asshole. She got a pussy, don't she? That makes her a bitch. Bitch. Fuck you. Settle down, the both of you. In answer to your question, Vinmok controls this whole region. If she's alive, he's got her. So we go in, get the girl, and get the hell out. No problem. Right, no problem. Except we'll be outnumbered 101 by people fighting for their lives. What do you think we've been doing? Start training tomorrow at 0500 hours. Training? Mr. Lamb! Sir? If you intend to kill us in our sleep, now's your chance. You got first watch. The rest of you, sleep well. I can tell you right now, I'm not getting no sleep tonight. Training? Yes, we know who you are and who your father is. Thanks to satellite news. That an American woman was on the United Nations charter shot down last Thursday in northern Vietnam. UN spokespeople have confirmed today that that woman was Gabrielle Prescott, daughter of billionaire biotech magnate Jameson Prescott. She is believed to have been captured by the guerrilla forces of the National Liberation Front, a revolutionary movement committed to destroying political and trade agreements between the United States and its old enemy, North Vietnam. In three months, with you as my hostage, our forces will become ten times stronger. Strong enough to defeat Hanoi. Do you think my father's just gonna sit around while I rot in your pit? Well, with Americans, you never know. But in your case, percentages are good. In fact, I'm counting on it. I can't eat this for three days. Man, this is left over from now. I know it. Why don't you ask Tolliver to airlift you a cheeseburger or something? Won't you airlift your ass out of my business? Guess they forgot the chitlins in the watermelon, huh? Why don't you just shut your dumb redneck ass up? Hey, man, you better chill out. Tolliver's coming. Screw that! Morning, ladies! On your feet! Now! Get an attention, ice front, half to your sides. Ice front, short stuff. Shoulders back. Butts! 
How was your breakfast? Terrible. From now on, if you're directing a question or comment to me, the first thing and the last thing out of your mouth better be sir. That understood? I don't think you heard me, son. I said, if you're addressing me, the first word and the last word out of your stinking hall better be sir. Now, is that clear? Sir, my boss hurt sir. Now, let me ask you again. How are those delicious K rations, Mr. Butts? Sir, they suck my big black banded dick. Sir, we'll get used to it. From this point on, you will eat, lift, piss, and breathe as soldiers. You were on a mission to save someone else's ass for a change, not just your own. I work better with a motherfucking Uzi. What the fuck you know about work? I know what your homeboy in the alley. For her, sir. That monster sure is an ugly motherfucker. Taco had that point. I had flank. Man, shut up. How are we gonna get out of here? Next time you won't have to worry about getting out. Because there'll be too many bamboo spikes in your backs. I suggest you gentlemen get your act together and figure out who's doing what and why. But get him out of there. Sure. Um, grab hold of my dick. Shut up and get us out of here. We move out tomorrow at dawn. From this point on, you gotta keep your shit wired tight at all times. Our first stop is Mock Bay. What we need is some Mock Bay pussy. Get some sleep, you're gonna need it tomorrow. Brophy, douse that fire. Major Tolliver, sir? Just wanted to say thank you for, you know, choosing me, sir. I hate to burst your bubble, Lopez, but I didn't choose you because you were a good guy. Yeah, I know. But you give me a second chance now, sir. You got first watch. You're going. I'm taking a shit. You got a problem with that? some water, man? Yeah, I got water. Let me get some, please. Eat me. Come on, man. I'm out, all right? 
We gotta stick together, you said, remember? So give me some goddamn water, man. Touch my water and I'll cut your damn throat. Got that? Grab your gear, let's get the hell out of here. Lamb. Take point. There's gotta be a 7-Eleven right here somewhere. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. I can tell you right now, this shit wasn't on no damn map. All right, listen up. I'm gonna check it out. Lamb, you come with me. The rest of you cover us. You hear that, bud? Sir, you're the boss, sir! When we get to the other side and secure the area, you'll get a signal from me. Nobody makes a move till then. You got it? What's wrong with you, huh? You gonna get out there and fall on your face? Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? See another whitey go down. And what's the matter with you, huh? What's Brophy doing?
We're next. I'm out of here. Hey, sabes que, loco? I knew you were trying to escape last night, and I let it go. But if you try to go now, I swear to God, I'll blow your ass away. You can trust me on that. Are you with us or against us, hombre? Come on, brofi. Free your mind, and your ass will follow. Any of you super convicts even got a plan? Ah, la 
Between us, but is that plate over with? Come on, man. I don't want to talk about that shit right now. Nah, man, is it? Look, man, that was there. We here. It's not personal. It's about survival. Why well, need to know? Is it over? Man, it's over when it's over. That's how you want it, Hans. Thank you. By who? Oh, the... No, no. I was just horsing around. I, uh... Can I talk to you? Yeah. About what? Hey, man, cut that shit out. Hey, nigga, some bitches upstairs. What's up? Thanks, douchebag. Damn, nigga, I was just... No, I don't want to hear that shit, man. You're just trash, dude. I was just informing you that... Thanks. Some hoes upstairs. Soldier. Um, I wanted you to know. I did not kill my parents, sir. And the police were just wrong. You gotta believe me, sir. That's that's the God's honest truth. Doesn't matter if I do or don't, ma'am. All I know is you're a damn good soldier. Okay?
So I don't know what happened. That bitch is crazy. Get dressed. I think he's waking up. Grab your gear and stay away from these windows. Where the hell is bro? Man. Americans, come on! Or he dies! We gotta do something, sir. Screw that shit, man. That pendejo did it to himself. You son of a bitch. No, he's right. There's nothing we can do. Let's move out. Sir, they're the goddamn enemy. The more we take out now, the less we have to deal with later. Look, if we go out there now, we're outmanned, outgunned. We could jeopardize our entire mission, not to mention getting killed. Who's willing to risk that? Right here, man. Me too. I'm down. Monster? I'm always ready to get some. He dies in 15 seconds! Butts fast gas covers from the upstairs windows. The rest of you come with me. Now let's move now. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even like this skinhead motherfucker. Five! Four! Three! Two! One!
be all right. But? Yeah, man. Uh, is it over between us, but? That blip over with? It's over, man. Shit's over. Do me a favor, man. If I got no meat, I'll give her this. You give it to her, man. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Lopez. Wake up, man. Lopez! This is for Lopez and Monster. Go ahead. Cut my fucking throat. I don't fucking feel sorry for you! Do it! Do it! You should let them kill me. I didn't ask you to fucking save me. Why'd you let them do it? This is your fault! Why didn't you just fucking leave me? We're supposed to be a team. Brothers! Don't you get it? I'm not your fucking bro! 
I don't give a shit about saving some fucking girl. I don't give a shit about any of you. Just me. This is who I fucking am. This is what my father wanted. This is what he made me. Kill all the damn blacks and the specks and the Jews. Fucking gooks. Fuck them all. I kill monster. I kill little pet. I'm sorry. All right. Time for payback. want to live, you will read it. I've told you, I won't help you get weapons to kill more people. You are my weapon. Get up! Get up, get up! Get up, get up! Get up! You're killing them one by one. My name is Gabriel Prescott. I was sent here by the United States as a spy. General Mock has agreed to preserve my life in return for a $10 million arms shipment. Don't do it, Dad! Just let me go. Don't let him kill any more people. Enough! Your pleas were all we need. That should be enough for your father. You'll have this tape to remember you by. Midmark's camp is just over this ridge. We should be there before dark. Guess I won't be needing this heavy bag no more. <laughs> Don't move! Jesus Christ, Butts. What the hell do you have in there? It's just some dirty draw line. I know it's gonna explode.
Don't move means don't move. Moving your shits in the wind. Do that shit. You don't know, man. Maybe he did. Let's go. This is where the shit bag hangs out at, huh? Looks like it. Looks pretty tight. Must be 10, maybe 12 at the post. These towers are pretty heavily armed. Two 60 caliber machine guns, one GL7. Sounds like some serious shit. Can you see where they're holding Gabrielle? No. Probably have her tucked away in the guard somewhere. She's still alive. Sir. How are we going to get past those towers? Right now, our main concern is locating Gabrielle. We might be putting our lives on the line for nothing. All I know is she better be alive. I didn't come all the way out here, but them mock ass, that's for damn sure. So tight, huh? Till I get back, I'm going down for a closer look. Man, that nigga crazy. 
crazy. I think he was dropped as a child. back for you. She's alive. Listen up. The entire camp is surrounded by incendiary charges. Gabrielle's in a pit in the center of the camp. But first, we have to take out those towers. Sir, how are we going to take them out? The bees. The wire not ready. Shit! Butts, you take the tower on the east end. Sir, where is that? Vasquez, you take the one over there. What about the jeep and the choppers? Don't worry about that. That's for later. Lamb, you take the tower on the north. After the dynamite's set, nobody makes a move till you get a signal from me. You got that? Well, sir, what about Gabrielle, sir? Once those charges go, all hell's gonna break loose. Just take out as many of those assholes as you can. I'll worry about her. How's that arm? I'm all right. I'm gonna make it, sir. Okay. That's what we came for, team. Let's get it done. Yeah. 
Bring the girl. No!
I thought I'd save all your asses. Good job, soldier. Now let's get the hell out of here. Let's move it, man. Let's go. 